I'll show you what is called invisible radiation to prevent your brain from being fried by your home electronic devices and even your cell phone. How does this happen? You've probably heard the words field of energy, radio frequencies, and even microwaves. Typically, you think microwaves being the microwave oven, but there's other things that'll give you microwaves, including your cell phone. The problem is it's not regulated by safety codes at this time. It's kind of like at some point in time, people started smoking and smoking was considered actually beneficial for you. Yes or no, do you believe nicotine is not addictive? I believe nicotine is not addictive, yes. You also had DDT, which was considered beneficial. You also had asbestos, which was considered safe. And then you had sugar, which was considered beneficial at one time. And then years later, they found out that they hadn't done enough testing for a long time. And so they introduced some new regulations. Right now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of safety testing going on. When you're trying to sleep at night and right next to your bed, you have a light source, you have an alarm clock, and you have some other electrical devices. And some people might even have the consideration that if they turn the light off, the electrical field goes away. Well, I wanna tell you that it actually doesn't go away unless you unplug the light at the outlet on your wall. If you were to open up this wire, it would be hot. In other words, there's voltage in that wire that is generating an electrical field unless you disconnect it at the wall. So magnetic field occurs at any time there's current flowing through a wire. Now, let's start at the beginning to better understand and if we're affected in any way. We're constantly surrounded by electricity. It makes our lives easier, safer, and more fun. And most of us never think about it. Does too much electricity cause health problems? Do you think the thing that is fundamental to our modern world may be slowly killing us? We need to understand what electricity is and how often it affects us. Electricity is the movement of an electrical charge. This movement generates electric and magnetic fields that spread out through space and carry energy. The phenomenon is known as electromagnetic radiation. The word radiation can make people extremely nervous. But to radiate something simply means to give off energy. It's like when your house's radiator emits heat through infrared radiation. Different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum correspond to different types of radiation. Many of them are perfectly harmless. Some of them can be dangerous though. Radiation with short wavelengths like UV light, X-rays, and gamma rays are strong enough to rip electrons out of their atoms. This can cause burns and genetic damage. This is what many people think of when they hear the term radiation. The rest of the spectrum covers a large range of longer waves from visible light, infrared, microwaves to radio waves. This is the kind of radiation that's emitted by all sorts of human technology, mobile phones, Wi-Fi routers, electric power lines, and household appliances. We are not affected by this radiation. However, some kinds of radiation can stimulate muscles and nerves and can also make the hair on your body vibrate. This can sometimes cause a tingling feeling above certain threshold values. Other kinds are useful for making dinner. Microwaves push the water molecules in your food around, which warms it up. We do this all the time. Just think of the pleasant temperature at the beach. Your skin heats up when exposed to electromagnetic infrared radiation from the sun. We are constantly surrounded by natural and generally harmless sources of electromagnetic radiation. Since the Industrial Revolution, however, a lot of it has been added to our immediate environment. A study linking leukemia to living near power lines in 1979 brought public attention to the question of whether this is actually dangerous. This particular study was quickly discredited, though the connection could not be explained and no direct casual link was confirmed. After the idea was proposed, it persisted, and the thousands of studies about possible dangers show that it is still seen as a very real threat. There are many people who claim to be sensitive to radiation coming from our home appliances and mobile phones. People report headaches, nausea, skin reactions, burning eyes, or exhaustion. But those are just effects reported on the day-to-day -day basis. Several studies have found more unsettling results such as the possible association between the side of your brain that people use when they're on their phones and the appearance of brain tumors. The question that science is trying to answer 
is not so much about the acute effects of irradiation. Radio waves do not damage DNA in your cells in the same way that X-rays do. For example, the question is, rather, is the sort of weak electromagnetic radiation we are constantly surrounded by harmful in the long run? It is not easy to answer this question. There are thousands of primary sources, reports, and statements by an onslaught of different organizations. A study that looked at cancer in rats and mice from cell phone radiation. Interestingly, only male rats showed a connection, but mice did not. But it was reported as if the study did prove that mobile phone radiation causes cancer. Unfortunately, this is the case for studies with both positive and negative findings on the issue. The World Health Organization did officially classify radio frequency fields as possibly carcinogenic. But what this means is that there are still some hints that they might cause cancer, but we can't prove it, and that we will keep an eye out. What's the big picture if we zoom out a bit? In general, human studies found no evidence of electromagnetic radiation below exposure limits causes health problems. There are some statistical associations, but they're mostly weak and inconsistent. If there were any definite cause-effects relations, we would know by now because of all the data we have. Do you need to worry about radiation coming from your laptop, cell phone, or TV giving the current state of science? I don't think you should be concerned. But what about those who say it is harmful? According to research, they may be experiencing the nocebo effect. If you have a headache and then you feel better right after you turn off your laptop, you might be seeing a correlation between the two. Once you get this suspicion, the idea alone that weak radiation might harm you could be the very thing harming you. It's easy to belittle these people. The situation is made worse by the fact that they feel they are not being taken seriously although they should be supported. It is important to know that there is no robust evidence showing that electricity below safety limits harms humans. Due to the attention economy we live in, talking about unproven dangers can cause us to overlook things that we know are unhealthy. As an example, 4.2 million premature deaths are linked to outdoor air pollution each year. We can make a real difference right now by reducing outdoor air pollution. Still, to make people feel safe, and just to make sure that there are several long-term studies going on already. In a study like Cosmos, the frequency and duration of phone calls will be measured in order to assess how cell phone usage may affect health. There are many more pressing matters to take care of while we wait for these long-term studies to conclude. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.